Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Heavy Rain, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, so let's check out what's in the box. How much you want beds in origami, just like the rest? What is it? Hey, yo, a gun? A phone? What else? Okay, so he has a lot of origamis. Hey yo. I can't believe the box came with a gun, like... It's a bear. Wait, there's a message? Okay, so what? The kid's alive? And now he has to search for him? Ah, <sighs> man. Okay, so. Help! Dad! Sure. Where are you? Hey, yo, that's messed up. Dad. Dad. Wow. Okay, so he is alive. And at that moment, it looks like he needs to... Okay, so each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Oh god, this is some sick saw shit at this point. Do you wanna play a game? Basically. Alright, so at this point... Let's get your son. I mean, I wouldn't know what to do if I was in the situation. I would, I would definitely go batshit crazy seeing my own kid in that situation. The killer is white, aged between thirty and forty-five. He I'm not act surprised. Most, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Okay. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Wow, that's crazy. So he basically drowns them without really drowning then them. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, 
I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about ten square mile. Oh, great. There must be ten thousand people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. What do you mean? The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Bro, come on. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what do you oh, got, shit. huh? Nothing. Damn. Absolutely nothing. Damn. You, think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses. Well, let me tell you something, pal. Damn. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fuck <laughs> you asshole. Tea. The tea's real, That's bro. Enough. Wow, the, he got you there, buddy? Like... Said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Damn. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. They almost duped it out. That shit was crazy as hell. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? No answer. We waste our time coming here. No, bro. Just barge Maybe in. We should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Well, what we do around here, we, uh... <sighs> there is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Oh, we improvise. Call the cops. It didn't. Hey, yo, what the hell is this? Oh, hell no. Looks this is like some. Daniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Oh, no shit. He's a god fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Oh, okay. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Wow. I... Here's the thing. This room is making me really uncomfortable. Like, I know with crosses it's supposed to bring comfort, but this many? I feel like I'm in the episode of Outlast or even Resident Evil. Like, I don't know, I'm good. This is his bedroom? Oh my god, bro. Like,. This place gives me the creeps, like... Aw, oh, look at all those medication. I bet he's not even taking any of them. That would explain why he has so much. More medication. Bro, he's not taking any of them. And the bathroom is hella dirty, like... You're gonna need a lot more than holy water to clean this shit, that's for sure. <gasps> He's coming! Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, I just want to talk, bro. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. 
I never Relax. said you were. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. Okay, that's basically people during the Y2K thing. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Okay. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Really? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Why are you trying to rile what him does he up? Say to Blake, you, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He Bro. needs more and more. That's enough. Leave him alone. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. First he of all, told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voice is Carter, shit! Him all Are you out of your long. mind? You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Hey, yo. Stop. Why? Stop. That's enough. Just leave him alone. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Okay, that's not how you do things, bro. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy us. Christ's sake, shoot! Uh, bro, you just... You just... You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for Antichrist that. Antichrist my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Actually, keep going. Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Yes, reverse psychology. Dean, Come on. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head. But you have to trust me. Yeah. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Yo, Nathaniel, let's just... Let's just calm down, buddy. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Yeah, buddy, come on. Back away. Slowly. Come on. It doesn't have to end like this. Come on. Just come on, buddy. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Yeah, drop the, the, drop the gun, buddy. Trust me. You're good. You're safe. You're safe. Put your hands on your head. There you go, buddy. See, you're safe. Turn around. See, you're good. Motherfucker! In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Hmm. Okay, freak. The show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Yeah, well. The gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. True. Maybe I'm not. not. Most of the time, it helps. Yeah, I'm not really trigger happy like you are, buddy. So, other than that,
That's a nice car, bro. I bet you're not paying too much taxes on it, though. Because I know when a car is, like, over a certain amount of years, you actually pay little to no taxes, so... Alright, so... Who am I visiting? What's that noise? Okay, the baby's there, but where's the mom? Hey, yo! No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Door is locked too. I can't even get in. Okay, so there has to be some other way for me to be in this house. Bingo! Hey, yo, I'm just going inside, like... Okay. This is both. Anybody home? Let's check out that letter. What's going on? Oh, Jesus. A suicide note? Oh, hell no. Are you kidding? That means, oh, the body has to be somewhere here. Hello, little kid. Hey. Oh. You looking for your mama? Ay yo, I'm not really looking forward to this at all. Okay, so no body here, which means my last guess would be ah, the bathroom. Mrs. Bowles. Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Hey, yo, get out! Nah, we're not having this today. You're not gonna commit. Your daughter needs you. Oh, oh my god. Hey, yo! Wake up. Wake up! Wake up! Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Hey, wake yo. Up. Oh my god. Bitch, wake, wake up! up. Wake up. Let's go. We're not having this today. Come on. Hell no. We're not doing this shit. Come on. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Why? Okay. Cause your insurance? You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Alright, let me search in the bathroom. Maybe there's some... Medication? Or some bandages I can do? To wrap you up in? Hey, yo, this is some crazy shit. I need this. And this and this. All right, so I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Okay, so. I know that you're depressed, but this is not the answer. Trust me. The temporary solution, but it's not a good solution. It's really not. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. She tried killing herself. How do you think she feels? Hey, 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 girl! Relax! Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Yeah, okay. let me take care of the baby because your ass is just... Do you know what to do? What? With a baby, I mean. Uh, yeah. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Anyways, Her let's... Her name is Emily. Okay, but... Gotcha. 
Emily. Aw, oh, Bendito. Hey. It's okay. Ooh, shit. Got blood in my hands. There you go. Oh my god. I got some cooties all over my hands. Yuck. Anyways. Bendito. It's Hi, okay. Everybody. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh. Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Oh, you took a fat shit, did you, Emily? I would cry too if I had a big fat shit up my ass. It's okay, Nana. Okay. It's okay. How do you do this again? Let's go ahead and change her poopy ass diaper. Ah, there you go. What a good girl. You're so cute. Look at you. You're happy. You're so happy. Wow. There you go. Fresh new baby. Wait, you didn't even wipe That's her, true. bro. I fool. Right, Emily. You didn't even put baby powder. Bro, she's... Wow. Where's the baby powder? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Aw, oh, bendito. It's because you didn't put baby powder in my culo and you didn't even wipe me good. Wah! Wah! Anyways. Uh, Susan, uh, I changed her diaper, but she's still crying. She's hungry. There's a bottle in, in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Aquaman, let's go. That's fine. All right, all right. I got you, baby. Don't worry. You're gonna get your food. Don't worry. I guess I better warm this thing up. All right, let's go. It's okay. Ah. It's okay. I know you're hungry. Calm down. Wah! Wah! Come here. Come here, brat. Wah! Wah! Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. Aww. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't jump. Alright, Aquaman! There you go. There you go. Look at that. You're eating that shit up. <laughs> you all eating that shit up. Damn, you hella hungry. Yo, dead ass. You just ate all that up. Alright, you know what I'm about to do, right? I'm about to burp you. And then as soon as you burp... I'm gonna pass out. Ooh, wow. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. All right, let's go. Adormeen, 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 mina na linda. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, damn it! Come on! Yo, why you move like that? Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Yo, cut it out. Cut it out. Anyways, second time. Adore me, adore me. Adore me, me nana linda. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, my little baby. All right, good. Thanks for looking after my baby. In time. I didn't want to leave her. 
couldn't cope anymore. Mm. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. Yep. The day after Jeremy. Oh, how convenient. I don't know what happened to him. He went to get milk and he never came back. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. What about your parents? Oh, your relatives. Can they take care of the baby? Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. Wait, cell what? Phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have okay. any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. I'm sure you guys can figure it well, out. Look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. Hey, yo. These Nokia phones are crazy. This shit's crazy. So, maybe... Here's the thing. Maybe he didn't dip because of him being a dippy dad. Maybe he dipped because he actually was trying to find his son. Hence why he got the cell phone. And something happened to the dad since he never came back. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.